I'm Kusha Karvandi, and you're listening to Exerscribe Radio, the source for biohacking your health to reach your full potential. I created Exerscribe to provide people with a roadmap to working out. With our new workout app, you can get a custom workout program that adapts your workouts to your body type, goals, sleep quality, stress levels, and personal preferences. With live chat support, our workout app has become so comprehensive some call it a personal trainer in your pocket. Our users are seeing over 90% success rates with their goals because we take the neural approach to fitness, meaning we integrate movements and exercises that recalibrate your brain and body to prime you for rapid strength gains and fat loss. Check out the Exoscribe workout app in the iTunes App Store today. In today's podcast, I interview Jennifer McLean, the founder of McLean Masterworks. McLean Masterworks is a force in the human potential movement. With its renowned sub-brands, Healing with the Masters, a teleseminar intensive that brings an audience of 250,000, plus the best-known leaders in spirituality and wellness, offering solutions, tips, and techniques for creating a higher, vibrating, and successful life. McLean Masterworks also delivers the industry-leading membership site, Masterworks Healing, delivering profound group coaching experiences with live weekly shows, including Jennifer's Advanced Body Dialogue and Healing Show, three Saturdays a month. Hey everyone, we're here on Extra Scribe Radio with the founder of McLean Masterworks, Jennifer McLean. Welcome, Jennifer. Hi guys. Hello, Kusha. Welcome. <laughs> um, it's, it's, uh, welcome back to you. It's great to be here with you. So just to get started, could you tell the audience a little bit about you and your background? Sure. Um, I am, let's see, what am I? <laughs> I'm a, a speaker, healer, author, entrepreneur, and uh, I like to call myself a transformational agent. Um, we are, my, uh, something I created early on was a declaration and basically a, I'm a conduit and amplifier to increase sacred message, messages and visions, to increase consciousness around the planet, to create global peace. So just a small little mission I have. And uh, we do that through several, several venues. Um, I worked in corporate America for a really long time as a business strategist and I invented my own system of marketing called Credibility Branding. And um, so I used that to start my own business once I got completely burnt out of corporate America. I used that system that had previously created you know, multiple millionaires um, by working with startups. And I used that on my own business and uh, quickly uh, created one of the largest teleseminars, teleseminars on the planet called Healing with the Masters. Uh, we have a uh, a special membership group as well called Masterworks Healing Membership Site. We have about we have about three thousand members or so that join us every week for live healing calls. Healing with the Masters, uh, we interview the leaders in spirituality and wellness and help people to discover their light, their heart, their health, their wealth, um, and great relationships. And uh, we also have a business product which is called Success Signature, and the Success Signature product really allows people to understand how to create congruency between their heart and their business, which creates a huge and very quick ramp up to success and really makes an impact on the planet as well. When we're living from our gifts, which is what we teach in Success Signature, then do really beautiful um, strategies that I invented in corporate American experience through 20 years there. Um, we watch entrepreneurs just grow really quickly and create real companies, not just kludge things that throw together to, to get rich quick, but real companies that serve them, their families, and make a difference on the planet. So we have several products in the Success Signature roster of products as well, including a membership site called Success Signature Labs, where they get to uh, coach with me every week. So uh, I, as I say all that, it's like, well, that sounds like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> we're, having, we're having fun, though. We're having a really good time. So which aspect of coaching are you most passionate about? Oh, that's a good question. Um, you know, the kind of coaching that allows people to illuminate how beautiful and brilliant they are. And uh, I have to say that um, while I do a lot of healing work, my favorite thing to do is to assist entrepreneurs in their healing, the energetic frequency of their being, while also showing them 
the possibilities in the marketplace and getting them to think strategically versus tactically. So I think my favorite coaching actually is along the lines of what I get to do every Thursday in the membership site, uh, Success in Your Labs membership site, um, where I coach entrepreneurs. And, um, you know, these, these coaching calls are really wild because it's not about, well, if you go to the podcast and you put uh, um, an iTunes podcast in and then tell your friends to send to people the podcast, it will, it, no, that's not, we talk about that. We talk about keyword searches for SEO. You know, we talk about the latest ninja tricks um, in getting traffic and, and building conversions. Yes, we talk about that. But probably 40% of every show is also healing. It's also about, well, I don't think I could do that. Okay, let's go there. Let's play there. Let's go in there and find out what's going on with the inner world, with the inner mastery, and with the old, old beliefs and old patterns that might be blocking um, your entrepreneurial success and kind of doing those things together just uh, just fills me up. I love doing that stuff. That's awesome. Yeah, I think it goes hand in hand to be able to work <laughs> yeah. on kind of that those inner thoughts. What have been some of your greatest challenges uh, with coaching, and how did you overcome them? Uh, that's a good question. What are my greatest challenges with coaching? Um, I'd say. Um, you know, there's a couple. <laughs> One of the challenges is when uh, when people are so afraid of the purchase. You know, when they're so, they think they're getting taken so badly that they can't receive the amazing good. Um, we give 93% of everything we do. 93% of everything we do as a company is absolutely free. Healing with the Masters is free. Success in Nature Labs has this beautiful free blog. Uh, we do membership drives that are absolutely free. So most, we give free books. <laughs> I mean, most of what we do is free. And a certain percent, about 20 to 25% of our audience engages, as a, engages us in a entrepreneurial way. And so one of my biggest pet peeves is the people that can't get over the fact that we sell anything. <laughs> Even though we give away 93% free. I mean, we've had 600,000 people go through Healing with the Masters. And there's a certain percentage of us that say, how dare you try, you know, sell things? And, um, and entrepreneurs that in turn have a challenge selling stuff. You know, I think divine abundance, it's, abundance is part of being divine. And, and when you're congruent, it flows. And so people who have such a resistance to their own abundance and it shows up by pointing fingers at entrepreneurs saying, how dare you make an income? And, you know, it's okay for a church to generate income. It's okay for Procter & Gamble to generate an income. It's okay for, you know, and yet when we're in the personal development space, you know, some of these people say, hey, it's not okay. But, you know, business is business. We still have to, I have, you know, um, five full-time employees and I have, um, at least eight vendors that we work with, and all of the, their families are being fed, and they're having a great life because of the business that we're creating that is also helping hundreds of thousands. So, um, you know, when when people are, are just so in so much pain that they can't see the opportunity that we are presenting to them, um, it's not a pet peeve. It actually makes me sad. <laughs> no, yeah, I 100% I, I understand where you're coming from. Um, what have been some of your major success stories then? <clears throat> well, I guess the uh, healing with the masters, you know, that we've been able to reach so many people. Um, and gosh, it fills my heart. Um, you know, it's nice that uh, our company, since we've started um, in 2008, we've made about $25 million in aggregate. And uh, that, that feels really nice. And the fact that we've given more than 10% of that to philanthropic organizations, we've been able to um, build six um, uh, adopt six villages in Africa and build six schools. Uh, we put, um, we've, we've helped a lot of children directly in Africa get an education. And this is a place where education, um, is unheard of and it's changing the culture so that some of the, the really, um, uh, uh, horrific practices of, um, of mutilation of women is stopping because we're building schools. Uh, I'm very, very proud of what we've been able to create. Um, we have a foundation now in, in the name of my sister who passed away last year. And uh, I'm very proud at uh, we're starting to do some 
uh, scholarships in the personal development space with uh, schools and universities. Uh, so, you know, the, the opportunities I've been given have created uh, just amazing opportunities. We've had uh, a very successful launch of Success Signature, and gosh, I'm so proud of that product because it's not just about uh, making money. It's about making a difference. And we teach people how to make a difference first, so that opens up the channels to make money. I'm very, very proud of what we've accomplished as a company. And I'm uh, exceptionally proud of my team. We have a rock star team of, uh, of employees and vendors. And uh, we, we are really, um, we're, we're creating a, a new foundation, I think, of what's possible in business. Something I never experienced in corporate America personally. We're we're doing with our team, and uh, and we're also I think we're creating a new standard in what's possible, and uh, we also kind of teach that stuff in success signature. We're applying it to ourselves, and it's working. So I've got I've got lots to brag about. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, it, oh, sorry. Yeah. yeah, what I was going to say is that you know I really like what you're doing because you know. In terms of entrepreneurship, few people really venture into this realm of social entrepreneurship, which is what you're doing. You know, it's kind of the mix mm-hmm. between you know creating wealth and then also creating social benevolence. And, and so, I really like what you're doing there, and I think that's really um, it's an amazing thing to see, and, it, and it's very rare. So, um, so oh, definitely congratulations thank you. Thank for you. that. Well, you know, what's interesting, Kusha, is that um, I'm hoping through our success signature program, it's not going to be as quite as rare because um, it truly is when you are completely congruent with your business, when you're really living from this place of mastery that, that is found within your being, um, boy, you know, the abundance piece and the success piece is like gravy and it's, and it stuff becomes obvious. So I'm hoping that uh, it's not rare anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. So for people who are trying to improve their health and fitness, I know that the mindset is a, uh, is a, a huge aspect of that. I think that people get bogged down by their own you know, limiting beliefs. So what are some types of products that you have that would benefit someone like that? Uh, well, we, you know, we focus, my system of, of healing, my personal system of healing is called body dialoguing. And uh, is it okay if I just walk your folks through a little Mm -hmm. seven-step process of how it works? Would you mind being a guinea pig? Sure, yeah. Absolutely. So so, uh, for for you and your audience, just think of something in your life right now that isn't working. So just think of something that's not working. That's it, good. And so um, as as you think about that, I want you to feel it in your body. What does it feel like? In Where in your body do you feel that, Kusha? Probably in the in the back, you know, you get tense, you get stressed. Yeah, right, right. So bring your attention to that back area. Yeah, that's it. And bring yourself as if you're inside your back. Good, you're really good at this. Um, so as you feel yourself inside your back, we're just going to bring your attention to that area and just say to that that place and stick with it, stay with it, and say to that place, I'm here, I'm present. I'm not going anywhere. I really want to talk to you. I want to hear you. I'm here in support, and I'm not leaving. Yeah, that's it. I'm not leaving. I'm here. I'm present. Now, what does that feel like just doing that part? Oh, it relaxes. You know, all the muscles t- start relaxing, and you can feel the stress levels go down. And Yeah, yeah. Just being present, just being present is enormous. So as you are bringing your presence and awareness to the parts of you that are calling to you, most things that are painful or in conflict or causing upset, they are calls. <laughs> ding ling ling I want to talk to you. <laughs> mm-hmm. I want your attention. So as we bring our attention to these areas and simply be present for them, it can change. It's called the observer effect in quantum physics. So now as we're present for this area, we're just going to ask into it and just say, there's a deeper version that we we don't have time for um, that would uh, allow us to understand where all this came from and so on. But for now, we're just going to ask into it and say, okay, we see you and we really are here and honored and present with you. And please tell us, what is it that you need? Just ask Kusha, what does that part of you need? And the rest of your audience asks the same thing of their aspects. So when you ask in a, in a place of deep presence with it, what does it need? What does it share with you? Achievement, you know, it's like uh, achievement and 
always striving for more. You know, I think a lot of us, yeah. like myself, we set the expectations so high all the time that uh, yeah. it can be frustrating if you're not achieving all your goals all at the same time. Right. So what does achievement feel like? Allow it to show you what achievement feels like in its healthiest realm energetically so if you were to if you were to feel right now in your body and your being and your essence what would the energy essence the energy signature of achievement for you feel like yeah mm-hmm. yeah well what does that feel like for me it's you know it's freedom it's that feeling of right you know just being free being able to do what you want to do go where good. you want to go and I'll, good now allow yourself and your being and your cells to feel freedom what does freedom feel like? Now I want you to really inculcate this into the cellular, the atomic level. What does achievement and freedom now feel like in your being? If you were to describe that to me. Yeah, it feels like. And allow like, yourself as if you're, that's it, good. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. So I was going to say it really feels like, you know, you're just kind of optimized, you know. It's like you feel aware, you feel. Uh, aware, optimized, good. And now feel awareness and optimization, feel that. That's it. That's it. Now, I don't know if you felt that, but there was a little bit of a whew, mm-hmm. <laughs> kind of a mm-hmm. whew. <laughs> and now that feeling that you have right now, that's the energetic congruency that will create achievement. Wow. That's That powerful. feeling sense, yeah, that feeling sense you have right now is the energetic congruency that will actually create what you want. Um, now there's, there's ways of using this so that you can overcome heat, uh, overcome pain and, and illness and disease, but that's the principle of my work. And I have many products that actually, um, uh, you know, walk you through different themes along this line. And my book, the big book of you also, uh, talks a little bit about this too. So that, that's, that's one of my systems of healing. I love it. That was great. I mean, it's extremely powerful. You could feel the difference from point A to point B, definitely a difference. Cool. So, so where do you get a lot of your information from? You know, how do you stay on the cutting edge with all this? Uh, you know what? Okay, I'm going to go woo-woo on your ass here. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty much listening to my inner mastery, truly. Um, you know, I, I, I definitely, um, you know, I interview the leaders in spirituality, so I'm always getting a hit from them of what they're up to. But truly, um, most of my information comes from within. Um, most of the information that I've created for every product I've done comes from that inner mastery, from that inner world. And, um, and it, what's so fun is that, you know, I recommend to p- for people who aren't feeling confident in that realm. I mean, now that we have success signature, we really are teaching people to do this more for themselves. But I recommend, you know, you read, if you have an inkling for something, Read the top three or to five books and um, take the top three to five courses. Um, you know, for healers, I recommend to get um, certified in something um, and then drop it all. <laughs> you know, use that to set your confidence. Use that to set your mind to say, I know something. New- use that to say, I have credibility and I'm certified in something. Then, Use that, that platform of confidence to stand upon to go into your own mastery and discover your own healing modality or discover your own program or do you so, discover your own system of coaching. Um, and uh, I think every single one of us is this beautiful puzzle piece that fits into the whole of humanity. Every one of us has a unique purpose, a unique gift, and every one of us is here to do something with that. Um, and uh, when you get enough love confidence through content, um, you know, that's our culture. You don't have to do that that way, by the way. I know a lot, some of the best healers on the planet never opened a book and never have and don't want to. Um, you don't have to do that, but it is a great way to start and get confidence and then allows you access in a really deep and um, congruent way with your own mastery and what your unique potential is, what your unique gift is, what we call your unique success signature. And how, how important is health and fitness in all of this to be able to do this stuff effectively? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> uh, I have two, two answers. Um, it's if you really want to go big, you've got to have your health. 
but you can do it without it. And I'm going to tell you a story as to why I, I say that. I recommend not doing this. I started my business in the middle of an adrenal exhaustion that was so extreme that I actually would go unconscious. I couldn't drive for six months. This is when I started my business. Um, I then, I had thyroid issues, I had weight gain, I had um, ex very, very bad fibroid tumors in my uterus. I had a uh, major surgery in February where I had um, 75 fibroid tumors removed. Um, I've had a lot of health challenges in, in the last five to six years, a lot. And I ran an incredibly successful company. Um, and so um, pure force of will can get you there, but it's not nearly as much fun. Now, what I know is that um, I, I don't recommend that, obviously. I don't recommend that at all. But a lot can be accomplished because you work from home uh, with the online model. So a lot can be done. So just about anyone, health should not be a barrier. But when you are healthy, it is so powerful when you're healthy. And um, this, is, this is the year. It's interesting that you ask this to me right now, Kusha, because – this is the year of this is the last bastion of of my of my transformation i and what's finally happened is that my mission was big and powerful and i could overcome health override my health issues to make stuff happen and find success but and what i know now is that when my health is good i don't know what's possible from there it feels like the sky is the limit. I've had no less than three people just in the last six days say to me, because I just started um, today, uh, or actually just a, a week or so ago, uh, one I'm calling Jen's Challenge, and it, your audience can join me if they'd like. It's facebook.com forward slash Jen's dash challenge. And again, it's free, but basically um, it's my ugly face every morning after I finish a workout, <laughs> sweating and telling you how I'm doing. And starting from a place of basically zero, um, from my perspective, sub-zero, um, from a place of not very healthy and getting healthy. And I believe that, um, uh, that I was supposed to be unhealthy in part to do this challenge, to invite other people in to start moving their body. So it's 365 days of moving their body. And I had no, and again, I have, I've had several people say in the last six days that what is possible for you when you're healthy. And so I'm going to say right here, you guys get to see <laughs> what happens to success when you're really, really healthy. And I'm excited to see how things are going to expand for my business, how things are going to expand for my audience when I'm a lot healthier and have a lot more vibrancy and energy to contribute and I'm not pushing through anymore. Um, I'm already feeling a little bit healthier um, as I've been doing the challenge. Um, I already feel like I have a little bit more energy than normal. But yeah, it's a really good question and it's not a common answer because I've been so unhealthy and I'm right on the cusp of changing that. So it'll be interesting to see what happens from here. I love it. You, you were talking earlier about you know coaches reading books and whatnot. What are some of your favorite books you know that really helped you? Uh, let's see. Well, Conversations with God by Neil Donald Walsh, uh, Way of the Peaceful Warrior by Dan Millman, um, and some of my favorite business books were a book by Jeffrey Moore called Crossing the Chasm. Um, of course, Stephen Covey's books are awesome, um, and. Uh, um, there's one I'm I'm forgetting, but that that's probably a good assemblance. Awesome, awesome books. What about technology? You know, do you think technology is helping or hurting us become more productive and successful and healthy? Both. Um, technology. Uh, I we're we're at the very very early stages of what tech what's possible in technology. Now I, I worked in the tech industry for 15 years, so I got to watch the evolution from the inside. Um, and um, technology has made our lives way, way, way more complicated. But there is an opportunity for us to also use technology to, to create a global community that, that is unbelievable, to reach out to people, to see things, to understand things that, that couldn't have been possible before, to uh, spread the word 
Um, and, and it goes both ways, though. That's the challenge with technology, to spread the word both positively and negatively to a large, uh, a large global audience. Um, I believe that technology will eventually figure itself out to the point where it doesn't make our lives so complicated. Um, but right now, we're in this place where what I call human spirit can overcome human instinct. Right now, technology, um, from a human instinct perspective, taps in and uses our flight or fight and can we can sometimes get addicted to the technology uh, by not putting it down by not unplugging um, so human spirit can overcome that by making new choices by noticing when we're when we're uh, rampantly looking at email and wasting time or wasting time on Facebook there is time for Facebook for sure I love Facebook I love looking at what my my people are sharing because I love watching those little videos and stuff they inspire me most of the stuff I get inspires me um, because I attract an audience of people who are reaching for inspiration. And so I love watching that stuff, but I also notice like, okay, I've gone one minute too long on this and it's time um, I go do something else. I unplug um, for a good 30 minutes um, at three times, three different times during the day. Sometimes it's an hour. I do what I call mini vacations. You know the stuff you do on vacation that you never do at home? Mm -hmm. I do try and do a little vaca vacation activity every day. One of them is reading. So I read uh, novels and not business books. <laughs> I try not to read business books because I have to do a lot of reading for my shows. Um, so I read novels. I do try and read half an hour a day and, and you know go sit by the pool, jump in the pool, jump in the hot tub, go for a walk. Um, sit in my ham. I have a hammock in the backyard. Uh, when I where I grew up in Canada, um, my grandfather loved hammocks and taught me. He used to read books to me in the hammock. So I go and re sit in the hammock and read a book and watch the clouds and and I do that um, at intervals during my day to unplug. Uh, technology is going to take us to what's next, and um, it can also kill us <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> if we don't unplug. Exactly. Really, really good stuff today. You really shared some powerful insights and uh, definitely a powerful demonstration of what you can do by just mastering um, your own inner self. Um, what's, Indeed. what's one simple thing, though, you would recommend our listeners start with uh, to improve their lives today? Uh, you know, uh, there's this practice that Mark Waldman, um, who's one of our speakers from Healing with the Masters, um, invited our audience to participate in. Well, I, one of the practices is Join Healing with the Masters, <laughs> healingwiththemasters.com. It's free, um, and you can hear some of this stuff for yourself. But uh, Mark Waldman has this really cool thing where every hour um, you, you put an alarm clock on, and he has a set of Tibetan bells, um, and you can get them from us if you'd like. You can download them. Um, I, think they're, I think you might be able to find them on iTunes, but it's basically a 30-second bell, that, and it, I have it set on an alarm, and every hour for 30 seconds I just stop. And I move into a meditative state for 60 seconds as I listen to the bell and then allow myself to just feel myself breathing, feel the moment, allow myself. And it really changes the dynamic of your day. Um, it allows you to be way more productive. He's got all kinds of scientific research. He's, got, he's written dozens of books of, about this kind of stuff. He actually teaches this exact practice as part of something he um, teaches for um, one of the big, uh, big schools for MBA students. Um, and, uh, and it's a wonderful, wonderful practice to really um, move you into a state of being. Um, and when you're in that state of being, the, it's like the globe of your capacity increases. Uh, so every hour, set an alarm um, and just take 60 seconds off to be. And, um, I think you'll see a really big difference in your day and your productivity. Awesome. I love it. That's great. Perfect. Well, thanks again for joining us today on Extrascribe Radio, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Awesome. Thank you much, Kusha. I love what you're up to. Thank you. Thanks. If you haven't already, get your custom workout program by downloading the Extrascribe app from the iTunes App Store today. Mm -hmm.